Hi everyone, um, I wonder how lockdown has been for you. I know that I have up days and down days and sometimes it can be quite hard to keep my focus on God and to keep trusting him in such uncertain and strange times. Well this week we're looking at characters through the Bible who are in lockdown and today we come to the character of Noah. Now I'm sure it's a story that lots of us are very familiar with, but it's a story of great hope. I'd encourage you to read the whole story in Genesis 6 to 9. But there are just a couple of points in the story that we're going to look at together now. Now it's set near the beginning of the Bible. So we've had creation, the fall, and now things are pretty messy. We're only a few generations into creation and people already are rebelling against God. But we have two strands that run throughout this story. God judges and God remembers. So let's look at it together. God is deeply troubled by the wickedness that he sees in human hearts. He's grieved by sin, grieved by rebellious hearts, and so he acts in judgment. He judges by deciding to flood the earth, to destroy life moving on the earth, both mankind and animals. God judges. But... There is hope because God also remembers. Noah finds favour in the eyes of the Lord. God shows grace to him and that is reflected in his righteous and blameless life. A life walked faithfully with God. God instructs Noah to build an ark for him, his family and pairs of all the animals and birds. And Noah obeys God. He builds this ark and he, his family and the animals enter it. And the Lord shuts Noah in lockdown. It rains for 40 days and 40 nights and water covers the surface of the earth for 115 days. God judges but God also remembers. Now we don't know much about what life was like for Noah inside the ark. They were in this ark that they had made with loads of animals and um, whilst it absolutely chucked it down outside. They knew that living creatures and mankind were being wiped off the earth as God acted in judgment. But they knew too that that same God has shut them in the ark and would remember his commitment to them and keep them safe. All they could do was trust the Lord, trust that he would be faithful, keep the ark shut and protect them from the water. Trust that in his sovereignty and in his timing, he would deliver them out. I wonder, in this time of lockdown, are we trusting God? It's hard, isn't it? Um, and sometimes it's something I, it's, I really struggle with. Um, there's lots of unknowns about what the future will look like, and when it will end, what the implications could be. But as we see in Noah's story, we can trust that God has a plan, that he is sovereign, that God is much bigger than the virus and we can trust that God remembers us just as he remembered Noah. Now after all that time in the ark, God then soaks up the water from the land and calls them back out onto dry land. He has acted in judgment, but he's also remembered and saved Noah, his family and the animals. The first thing that Noah does as he leaves the ark, therefore, is to build an altar and to make a sacrifice to God. He worships God because he's been faithful and kept them safe. That's the first thing he does as he leaves the ark. I wonder what the first thing you will do when you leave lockdown, what will that be? Maybe go to the sea, maybe go for, go for a coffee, uh, go on holiday. But what about worshipping God? God then establishes a new covenant with Noah, his descendants, and every living creature. He promises never again to flood the earth and destroy life, and he leaves a sign of this promise, a rainbow. Now, there have been lots of rainbows around recently, haven't there, um, as a way of showing our gratitude and our support for our frontline workers and the NHS. But the rainbow shows something even greater, that God is a faithful God who keeps his promises. We deserve judgment, we deserve the flood, but God has remembered us and delivers us by the blood of Jesus. So even as we're in lockdown, let's keep trusting our awesome God. Trust him because he keeps his promises. Trust him to be your comfort and your protector when it's hard. But keep praising him too, because whilst he judges, he also remembers and saves. 
He has offered a new covenant in Jesus' blood, and like he delivered Noah from the ark, he will deliver us to everlasting life with him in a perfect new creation. What a glorious hope. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you that you are a faithful God. Thank you that you keep your promises. Thank you that even though life now is strange and uncertain, that you remain the same. You're the God who remembers us. Thank you that just as you delivered Noah, uh, you are faithful to us. And because of Jesus' blood on the cross, you will deliver us to eternal life with you. Help us to keep trusting you in these weird times. Amen.